Our story today begins with Tigger, who was on this beautiful spring day, uh, helping Rabbit with his spring cleaning. That's right. See, I spring and all clean. <laughs> I think I can have all these honeypots spring cleaned in no time. Tigger, what on earth are you doing? I'm helping spring clean some honeypots, just like you said. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't mean... What I mean is I... I wanted to keep those. They still have honey in them. How could you? Huh? Well, it was pretty easy. Here, watch. <laughs> There's Tigger. I'll, um, just be, uh, pouncing along. <laughs> ah, uh, I think that would be a good idea. Yes. Meanwhile, Rabbit's honey pots were rocketing off on a little trip of their own toward a place a bit further in the story, where Winnie the Pooh happened to be wishing he had a pot of honey. I wish I had a pot of honey. I really wish I do. For if I had a pot of honey, my tummy'd have honey too. Oh! Oh, hello. How convenient. I uh, say, wait a minute. Hmm, I wonder. I did wish for some honey. Perhaps my wishing is suddenly working. What was it I said before? Think, think, think. Oh, I remember. <clears throat> I wish I had a pot of honey. I wish I really do. For if I had a pot of honey, my tummy'd have honey too. It is the rhyme. When I rhyme, my wishes come true. <laughs> How very nice for me. I shall tell my very best friend, Piglet. And, and then, Piglet, a second honeypot fell from the sky. And look, it's right here. So you can see why I'm quite excited. <laughs> oh, yes, Pooh. It's very exciting. If you're sure it's really magic. Well, of course, I'm sure, Piglet. In fact, I shall even give you two wishes, just as a start, because you are my very best friend, you know. Well, Pooh, if that's the case, perhaps you should share them with everyone else. What a wonderful idea, Piglet. I will show them just what a good wisher I am, and perhaps, as a result, I shall be everyone's hero. <laughs> and have your wishes granted by the great Poudini. Mm, very well, I am the great Poudini, and I will grant all of your wishes with one of my magic wishing rhymes. <laughs> Since you're all my friends. Anything? Anything. Mm -hmm. Then I wish that the entire Hundred Acre Wood was my garden. Oh dear, uh, where will my house be then, Rabbit? Oh, I don't know, Piglet, somewhere in the radishes, I think. Whose wish is this, anyway? Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I wish I could bounce all the way up to the moon, a Rooney! Oh, <laughs> and back, of course. <laughs> that was a close one. All right. And what about you, friend Eeyore? Wish I had a new house. A mansion, maybe. On second thought, Make it a castle. Done. And what do you wish, little piglet? Oh, I don't want much. I'd just like to spend some time with my best friend. So what are you waiting for? Make it happen already, Pooh Boy. <laughs> All right. Prepare to have your wishes granted by the great Poudini. <laughs> oh, him. I wish that Rabbit's garden were as big as all the wood. And Tigger bounced up to the moon, but didn't stay for good. Let Eeyore's castle would just appear for him to stay forever. And Piglet could spend time with me, and we could do whatever. I must rhyme, you see, or, or the wishes don't grant properly. Things should be falling from the sky at any moment now. 
Well, anything, Nothing's uh, happened. This is odd. Well, uh, I'm still standing here, Poodini Rini, or whatever your name is, and I don't see the moon getting any closer to me, so... Yes, and where are the acres and acres of carrots? Still looks like the same old wood to me. No, Castle. It figures. Oh, well, I knew this was too good to be true. You really shouldn't say you can grant wishes when you can't, Pooh Bear. Oh, I'm sorry, Pooh. I thought your wishes were going to work, too. Yes, and now I'm afraid I've disappointed our friends, Piglet. And there's nothing so disappointing as disappointing your friends. I just wanted to make them happy. I rhymed and rhymed with all my might and did everything that could be done. But now it seems I'm out of dreams. I must have used my very last one. No oh, bother. I guess a poo with no wishes is no fun. I tried all of my best wishes, and none of my wishes came true. But poo. Don't you think there are more wishes, more wishes inside of you? But Tigger wanted a trip to the moon. I tried and I couldn't do a thing. But maybe that wish is still around in the chore you wanted. The wish to bring. You mean, I still have all my best wishes. And all your best plans to start. Now you know that the best wishes are the wishes inside my heart. It's good to know that the best wishes are the wishes inside your heart. You know, I think I'm beginning to see what you mean. I may not be able to grant our friends fondest wishes, but I can still give them my very best wishes. Come, Piglet, we have work to do. And work they did. Oh, here's one, Pooh. Oh, I thank you, Piglet. Pooh and Piglet decided they would do some small kindness for each of their friends as they slept. And in the morning, when their friends awoke, Someone's pulled all the weeds from my garden. Oh, how wonderful! <laughs> Looky here. T I double G R. That's me. <laughs> Somebody left me a thing or something. <laughs> oh, flowers. I like flowers. Flowers. Wow. Look what I got. Oh, it's it's my garden like is all here. <laughs> what I want to know is who could have done such a wonderful thing? I'll tell you. It, it was my very best friend, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, don't, don't be shy, Pooh. Tell him. Pooh? Is it true? Well, yes, um, it, it was me. Oh, thanks, Mucho Pooh Boy. <laughs> Uh, just one thing. What is this here thingamabob, anyway? Oh, oh, that's a telescope, Tigger. When you look through it, at least the moon will seem closer. Say, you're right. You know, it's kind of like my wish came true. Y you know, that's very true, Pooh. Even if you didn't grant everyone's big wishes, you granted little ones, and you did it yourself, which was very nice. Yes, Pooh. I think perhaps you are the great Poudini after all. Oh, no, Rabbit. The only magic I'm interested in is making a small smackerel disappear. Uh, speaking of which, 
Would anyone wish to come over to my house for breakfast? Well, certainly. I'd love to. Oh, oh, nice. oh Piglet. Oh, I didn't do anything for you. Oh, yes, you did, Pooh. Just by being my friend. One Friday, in the Hundred Acre Wood, Rabbit awoke and went to mark the day off on his calendar. It was the first thing that Rabbit did every morning. One X per day. Oh, so very, very simple. What could be clearer? Get up and put an X through the day. Ah, Friday. Oh, and Friday is the day to do Friday's chores. Oh, my. I'd best get started, or, or I'll be behind before I've even begun. Let's see, uh, Friday's chores. First, pick and peel beans to make bean soup. Second, hoe my garden. And third, sweep the floors. Oh, my. So much to do in one day and, and so little time. And off Rabbit went to complete his list of chores for the day. However, he didn't count on a certain Pooh Bear showing up at his door. Hello! Rabbit! Do you happen to have a small smackerel lying about, Rabbit? I, oh, I hope Rabbit isn't playing hide and don't eat. I don't like that game. Oh dear, Rabbit hasn't finished Xing his big sheet of Xs. I will help him. There. Oh, there's nothing quite like helping a friend in need. Perhaps Piglet has a small smackerel to share. There. Beans for my soup. Oh, my. That took too long. Too long. Now, where is that pepper? Oh, so much to do on a Friday. <laughs> How is it? Uh, I did not... How can I... I've lost a day. It's Saturday already. How could I have let that slip? Oh, my. I'd best get Saturday's list. Let's see. On Saturday, first I rake leaves, second I mop, and third I visit my friends. But... But I haven't even finished Friday's soup yet. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, to think I was worried about everything I had to do in one day. <laughs> hmm. Had Rabbit lost a day? Or had Pooh lost it for him by Xing it out? Oh, how will I ever fit two days into one? I'll have to do everything double time. Well, I guess I just have to work faster and faster and faster and faster with my whisk, whiz, zip, zap, lightning kind of speed. My helter-skelter, hurry-scurry, high velocity. With dual double-barreled ambidextrous intent, I must up my productivity to 200%. Yes, I'll hold like the wind and plant pill-mill. There's twice as many nuts and eggs to shell. An extra lot of mops and sponges to ring. Another round to sing. My pace must hasten on the double, the double. My schedule's been Scuttled. The bubble of my calendar has burst and so I'm baffled and befuddled, befuddled, and also oh very troubled. So I've got to knuckle down and figure out the way to juggle and to muddle through this multitude of gardening and chores. Like peeling twice as many beans and sweeping double floors. There's carrots two by two and a double load of leaves from every kind of lettuce and the twin oak trees. I'm a rabbit who's inhabited a hot foot haste like a shot put race. No double time to waste. I'll replicate my efforts and will compensate for that missing. Date. Oh my, it's getting late, so on the double, the double, my Saturday's been scuttled, my schedule's been bungled, I'm disgruntled, yes, I'm baffled and befuddled, befuddled, and also very troubled, I'm surely in a pickle till I buckle up and barrel down and high tail it faster on the double. <gasps> oh my, it's so late, and I haven't visited my friends yet, I must hurry. One honey pot. Two honey pots. Another one. Another two. Hello, Winnie the Pooh. Uh, small talk, small talk, honey, honey. Carrots, carrots, you confuse me. I get flustered, etc., etc. Well, I better get going. Goodbye, Pooh. Uh, so, so see you soon. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, hello, uh, Rabbit. I mean, uh, goodbye. Ra I mean, oh, uh, bother. Eeyore, please wake up, I've come to visit. Uh, Robert. Hello. 
Nice to see you. Eeyore, if you don't mind, I'm in a terrible hurry. Can I just knock down your house and be on my way? Huh? Sure. Whatever's fastest. Uh, thank you, Eeyore. See you later. Poor Rabbit. He's finally snapped. Oh, hello, our old friend. How are you today? Oh, Rabbit, how wonderful to see you. I'm fine. <laughs> you know, when you came running up here at such a high rate of speed, uh, you reminded me of a story. Uh, excuse me? It's all about a mongoose I once knew named Ricky, Ricky Ticky something. Owl? Our curtain rises in far-flung India, in a beautiful garden among the wafting aromas of honeysuckle and pomegranate. Owl! Oh, my goodness, Rabbit. What is it? Is everything all right? Yes, yes, fine, Owl, fine. It is just that I'm in a terrible hurry. <laughs> yes? And I was wondering if you could make this story as short as possible, hmm? Well, actually, it's a fairly short story, Rabbit. As you may or may not know, I'm renowned for my brevity, which is, of course, the soul of... Owl! Oh, I'm all right. The mongoose gets adopted by a family and saves them all from a big, mean cobra. Thank you, bye. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, goodbye, goodbye. Uh, just, uh, hmm. Well, I never. How unsatisfying. Hmm. There's nothing better than being a bird and being able to fly. Huh. Hello, Cassie. Rabbit? <laughs> yes, yes. I haven't much time, but I wanted to say hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Uh, Rabbit? Yes? You're flying. Did you know that? Yes, of course I do. I had to say hello to you, so I flew right up. I didn't have time to wait for you to land. I'm in a terrible hurry, you see. Yes, I understand that, but... Rabbit, you can't fly. Oh, my. I believe you're... One million and one, one million and two, one million and three. Oh, five more million, and I'll break the... Hi, Tigger. Hey, Long Ears. I'm trying to break the all-time world record for most bouncing record. I only got five more. Million to, to go? Say, cheese and crackers with sugar on top, flat feet. Do you realize that you are bouncing at two times the speed of a Tigger? I am? Yeah, and you better watch it. You might just rip the ticker time continuing in Indium. How do I stop? You know, you got me there, bunny boy. <laughs> I never seen this before. Ouch! Well, I guess that'll work. Rabbit, there you are. Oh, we've been quite worried about you, my boy. Haven't been yourself. I saw him flying. No time, must go. No, hold on a memento, bunny boy. Why are you being so fast? Calendar, lost a day. Must cram two into one. You lost a day, Rabbit? How do you lose a day? Yes, and uh, how do you know if you've lost one? The calendar never lies. Every day I X off a day and... Oh, yes, that reminds me. I X'd out the last one for you. <laughs> Glad to be of help. You what? You X'd out tomorrow, today, Pooh? Oh, you don't have to thank me, Rabbit. Oh, you mean I did all this work for nothing? Wait, Rabbit, you didn't do it for nothing. You've done all of tomorrow's work today. So now you have nothing to do tomorrow. <sighs> and so, when Saturday came, our friends resolved to help Rabbit take the day off. Oh, isn't it wonderful? I just love relaxing <laughs> almost as much as eating honey. Yeah, oh, yeah. Me too. Oh, yes. I prefer a thistle. <gasps> oh, my. I think I forgot to. Rabbit? All right. But if I could just... Remember, Rabbit, relax. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right. It's just that my garden... Don't make me pounce, you bunny boy. Oh, I know, I know. But I'd still like to get a few things done. I can't... Rabbit! All right. 
All right, I... I suppose there are worse things than relaxing. Although I don't know... <laughs> I guess trying to do two days' worth of work in one really tires you out. <laughs> oh, yes, Piglet. It made me sleepy just watching them. <laughs> me too, Pooh. Oh, now you're yeah. passing it on to me. I quite agree. I'm always tired. That would be nice. And that is the story of how Rabbit lost a day and then found it again. After which, he also found that everyone, even busy rabbits, need time to relax. Shoo me, shoo me, shoo me do, me do, me. <laughs> poo, oh poo. Oh, hello there, Mr. Narrator. Those were nice stories, weren't they? Yes, they were. You did rhyme a bit. I wish I had a pot of honey. I really wish I do. For if I had a pot of honey, my tummy'd have honey too. Oh, yes. I just love how the words sound like one another when I rhyme. Oh, and didn't we learn something about calendars? Yes, indeed. We learned that a calendar is a very useful thing when trying to remember what day it is. As long as you don't X out the date before it happens. <laughs> True, Boo. My, that was quite a bit to learn, wasn't it? Actually, it makes me hungry just thinking about it. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Pooh. See you tomorrow. Now's the time to close the book. Though we've just begun, it's true. We'll say goodbye until another day. Another day with new adventures on the way. They're on the way. We're on our way. So off we go. We won't be far. We'll be waiting here for you. With hills to run and higher trees to climb. And someone there to catch you in the nick of time. So it's goodbye for now. Catch all the fun and excitement on the Disney Channel. Channel. 
We're having a party here inside Playhouse Disney. Come on, jump into the Book of Pooh. There's certainly no party behind this tree. Hey, Pooh Boy, there's no party back here either, either. Well, it's not behind this bush. I've been thinking, if we're here and the party isn't, then I'm certain that the party must be somewhere else. Let's keep looking. Okay, hey, party! Party! Jump into the huggable new The Book of Pooh. Every morning, only inside Playhouse Disney.